after entering the order um, and running the update, we have the uh, we have the order as a receivable against the customer that it was placed to. So in the uh, financials, we come into that menu. We'll go into the accounts receivable, and we might want to maybe just query on a particular customer to see what his receivable looks like. So I entered that order for ROB0001, and uh, this will show me um, all of the invoices that are outstanding for that particular customer and there is uh, the particular invoice that we had uh, our tracing that we were doing in the previous ones the 1000 there I'll just highlight that line item invoice number there for 7950 so he's basically original amount of the invoice of 7950 the unpaid amount is 7950 and uh, just looking at this particular invoice for this customer it's showing me that uh, that he has this. This is an online uh, kind of uh, accounts receivable screen inquiry showing me uh, aged what uh, what the invoices are due uh, against this customer. I can look at this and and based on if maybe if he's paid portions, I can look at the payment details. There won't be any for this, uh, so it will tell me there's no payment details. But I can actually key on this invoice and get some sales details. So I can see, well, what was that particular invoice for? Uh, no, sorry, I picked the wrong one there. We'll pick the 9-7, which is what we were dealing with. So we'll look at that sales details. And it's for the M3A item that we set up, the microfiber cloth. And uh, there was a quantity of 10 shipped. I uh, gave a price of 7.95. I can see our internal cost. Um, I can see the ordering units. Uh, they ordered uh, it in each. Got particular information about the invoice and the sales order. Uh, Come, come up on the screen online. So what we want to do now is basically from a receivable perspective let's carry through a, a payment from Robert Creeks to pay off this particular invoice and how we go about that in, in Dynamic 3i. Very simple. As far as uh, the processing is, confirm, uh, is concerned the um, uh, the accounts receivable he's going to do a cash application or we're going to receive some sort of payment uh, for that invoice and uh, that's in the form of a check and then we're going to apply that check uh, and we can do that either by coming out to the menu and going keying a worksheet and seeing all the different invoices that he has, has or if it's a one-time deal it will just um, you can call uh, cash application which I'll, I'll show you ultimately we'll start off with a check entry and we'll do the check for today from customer we'll key in our ROB001 uh, and we'll give it a check number 8764 uh, just to identify it. It will default into my uh, my branch uh, is where I'm receiving it. I can allocate it into a, uh, a certain bank, again, which is a default in there, so it could be an American account, uh, American check, whatever. Uh, I key that uh, the, the default bank will, will default in there. The check amount will come up based on this branch currency. Um, it will default to that and it will assume that uh, you're entering it into this branch so it must be for uh, for that dollar amount. So we'll take the check amount uh, and yep. we'll make it for the full amount of the invoice that was produced for him, 7950. Uh, if there's any particular name or any information that I want to put on there, any explanation, uh, whether it's an accounts receivable check flag, it could just be a check for maybe a donation or some other function that, uh, that that's being done, uh, depending on your business. And um, that basically is it as far as entering the check, and I can actually apply the check. So we'll save this uh, save this check off. Um, the name will fall into the customer's name, and the uh, check has gone to a entered status. Now I can directly go out to the menu and create a worksheet and go into cash application, or I can simply say I've entered the check here. I want to apply it now. The apply check will call up that particular screen uh, uh, for call up a particular screen with all the invoices that are available to be paid against uh, Robert Creek uh, for our customer, and it will show them here. And I can actually go down and distribute that 79.50 to any one of these, uh, in case it was a large check that was paying off multiple invoices, or in this case it was the exact one that's going to pay off. Uh, and there may be some uh, some paperwork on that saying this this check or invoice is for uh, invoice 100097 and that's what we're going to pay off with the 7950. So it's as simple as coming to the payment here, hitting return, the system will default it in. Any discounts that are that are keyed in there can be done. If there's certain reference information that you want to put with it, you can put with it at that point in time. 
but as far as uh, putting that um, dollar value against that invoice, it's as simple as keying it in or uh, hitting return and defaulting it and saving it. And the transaction is completed and that invoice has been paid off and the check has been applied. Going back to the um, cash application, if we wanted to do an inquiry now just to, just to see that, we will call up that customer again and we'll see that the invoice is totally paid off and there is our invoice in question here and we see that the original amount was 79.50 the unpaid amount is zero so he's uh, he's paid that off